Good morning. Welcome to the Daily Office. <clears throat> and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Friday, June 7th. It's the seventh week of the Easter season and week six in the psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 102, and Ezekiel chapter 34, verse 17 to 31. And join me now in singing the first verse of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Nobis. Come, let us sing unto our God, the rock of our salvation. Praise and thanks we bring before our songs of joy we sing you. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God. Let my cry come before you. Alleluia. Psalm 102, and please recite it with me. Alleluia, hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Hide not your face from me when I am in trouble. Incline your ear to me and answer me quickly. For my days are consumed like smoke, and my bones are burned like coal in a hearth. My heart is smitten and withered like grass, so that I forget to eat my bread. Because of my groaning, my bones cling to my skin. I am like a pelican of the wilderness. I am like an owl of the desert. I lie awake and watch. I am like a lonely sparrow upon the housetop. My enemies reproach me all the day long and they that hate me are sworn against me. For I have eaten ashes for bread, and mingled my drink with my tears. Because of your indignation and your wrath, you have lifted me up and cast me down. My days are like a shadow that fades, and I am withered like grass. But you, O God, shall endure forever, and your remembrance to all generations. You shall rise and have mercy upon Zion, for now is the time to favor her. For your servants take pleasure in her stones, and even love her dust. So the heathen shall fear your name, and all the rulers of the earth your glory, when you shall build up Zion, and appear in your glory. You will regard the power of the death prayer of the destitute, and will not despise their plea. This shall be written for the generations to come, so that the people yet unborn may praise you. For you have looked down from the height of your sanctuary, from heaven you behold the earth, to hear the groaning of the prisoner, to free those that are condemned to death, to declare your name in Zion and your praise in Jerusalem, when the people are gathered together and the nations to serve you. You weaken my strength on the way and shorten my days. O oh my God, do not take me in the midst of my days. Your years endure throughout all generations. In the beginning you laid the foundations of the world, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you shall endure. All of them shall wear out like a garment, like clothing you change them, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years have no end. The children of your servants shall continue, and their children shall be established before you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear my prayer, O God, and let my cry come before you. Alleluia. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 34, beginning at verse 17. As for you, my flock, thus says Yahweh God, I shall judge between sheep and sheep, between rams and goats. Is it not enough for you to feed on the good pasture, but you must tread down with your feet the rest of your pasture? When you drink of clear water, must you foul the rest with your feet? And must my sheep eat what you have trodden with your feet, and drink what you have fouled with your feet? Therefore, thus says Yahweh God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. 
because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide. I will save my flock and they shall no longer be ravaged, and I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd, and I, Yahweh, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, Yahweh, have spoken. I will make them a covenant of peace and banish wild animals from the land so that they may live in the wild and sleep in the woods securely. I will make them and the region around my hill a blessing, and I will send down the showers in their season. They shall be showers of blessing. The trees of the field shall yield their fruit, and the earth shall yield its increase. They shall be secure on their soil, and they shall know that I am Yahweh, when I break the bars of their yoke and save them from the hands of those who enslave them. They shall no more be plunder for the nations, nor shall the animals of the land devour them. They shall live in safety, and no one shall make them afraid. I will provide for them a splendid vegetation, so that they shall no more be consumed with hunger in the land, and no longer suffer the insults of the nations. They shall know that I, Yahweh their God, am with them. And they, that they, the house of Israel, are my people, says Yahweh God. You are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, and I am your God, says Yahweh God. Here ends the lesson. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Unchanging and ever-living God, we praise you for your resplendent glory. Hear our prayers and grant our petitions. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Alleluia, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Alleluia. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.